Hello, hello. Julio, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Ready? Yes. That's good. That's good. That's just excellent. And how are you? How's everything? How was your day? Uh, it was good. It was good. Excellent. Excellent. Yes. I like that. I like to hear that. So, what did you do today? Uh, I started work at 7.30 a.m. You started working yeah. at 7.30? 7 7.30, yes. Oh, okay. And I finished work at 5 p.m. Then I go to the gym. Mm. Cool, cool. Yeah, I went to the gym. What did you work today? Uh, what muscle? Que musculo? Uh, chest and tricep. Oh, really? Like, tricep. Mm -hmm. uh, you will make fun of me. Today I work legs and chest. Mm. Man, I'm wasted. <laughs> no, I work uh, leg on uh, tomorrow, on Wednesday. All and right. Saturday. Yeah. That's cool. So you go how many days a week? Uh, six. That's awesome. I wish I could have that time. De ser a tener ese tiempo. I just can go for <laughs> it's like yesterday I had to work and uh, yesterday I work shoulders, back, uh, bicep, and tricep. Uh, when yesterday I only worked uh, back and bicep. 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 Yeah, no, in my case. And the problem is that I'm doing a, a different type of routine because I need to, to do a, 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 how do you call it? A, I'm making circuits. Estoy haciendo circuitos. Mm, for definition. Yeah. But man, it's crazy. Like yeah. I like I was doing squats with uh just with 45 pounds per side. Solo con 45 doing mm -hmm. squats, but 20 squats, then 15, no, 18, no, 15 with another one, 12 with another one, eight with another. I was doing four different exercises on a row. That was one. Oh. Man, it was crazy. Yes. But it's cool. In the end, it's cool. Well, nice talking to you, Julio. Welcome. Okay. Let's see who else is around. Who else is around? Jose Alfredo, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Okay. And very happy. <laughs> happy? Yes. Okay. Tell me why. Uh, uh, because... Because I alone. How come? Como así? Ah, uh, porque estoy solo. Por eso estoy happy. Okay. Sí, me, eh, ahorita digamos que soy el rey de la casa. <laughs> ahorita That's... mando yo. <laughs> that's cool, that's cool. Enjoy it while it lasts. Disfrútelo mientras dure. 
ya dentro de una hora. <laughs> uh, I understand you totally. I comprendo. Been there, done that. Oh, mm. I got a, I got an expression. Uh, look, let's see, let's see, man. And you, teacher. Okay, hold on. I got something for you. Been there, been there, done that. Been there, done that. Yeah, been there, done that. That means. Uh -huh. uh, that means. Uh, actually, the proper expression is this. La expresión correcta es esta. I have been there and done that. That's the correct expression, but people say, oh, been there, done that. That means like, uh, 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 ya he pasado por eso. Ya me ha pasado. Ah. Ya he vivido esa situación. Ok. I have been there, there and done that. But oh. coloquially you say, oh, been there, done that. Been there, done that. Ok. Yeah, I've been there, done that, got the t-shirt to prove it. Yeah, that situation is nice, but I mean... Sometimes it's nice to be alone for a little while, right? Excuse me. Excuse me teacher. Sometimes it is nice to be alone for a little while. A veces es bueno estar solo un rato. Ay, sí. Es que si nadie lo está pegando. Ah, yeah. But the bad thing is that it's not all the time. Pero no siempre le pasa a uno. <laughs> And, and uh, teacher, uh, and how are you? I'm just fine, just fine, you know, here, ready, working, as usual, same old story. Oh. Yeah, can't complain. I mean, it's worthless, pa' que me quejo. Mm. So, okay. no problem, no problem, everything's cool. What about you? Very good. Perdón. What about you? What's uh, your situation? Uh, How was the day for you? Anything special happening? Ah, uh, 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 for being for for being alone. Uh, okay. Well, Mister. Pero, pero but, bueno. But, but, uh, but, uh, ¿cómo se dice? But, but I enjoy. I enjoy. I enjoy. Uh, being. Uh, Uh, being, being, being with my son. Being with my son. Being, being with my son. Mm -hmm. That's cool. That's cool. That's that's actually very nice. The fact that you can enjoy uh, being with uh, your with your son is something special, right? Yes. Uh, 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 since or oh, since he, he is small. Oh yeah, that's cool when you can enjoy them at that age. Eh, bueno, cuando uno lo disfruta a esa edad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, I remember those days. Yo me acuerdo de eso. It was like many years ago. My son is 20. El mío tiene 20. So, oh, it was a long eh, eh. while ago. Fue hace mucho tiempo. Uh, how many children do you have, teacher? Ah, just one. Ah, uh, I one, just one. Okay, I have two. Oh, you got two. That's cool. 
Yeah, no, we decided just with one and man. It's it's hard. It's hard dealing with kids. But it's fun at the same time. I mean, and as I told you, you got to enjoy them while you have them. Hay que disfrutarlos mientras los tiene uno. Because when, they, oh, when they grow up, they don't pay attention to you. Cuando crecen ya ni le dan caso a uno. <laughs> so le iba a decir. <laughs> yeah. That's so normal. <laughs> well, mister, welcome. Okay. Thank you, teacher. No, thanks to you. Ruth. Hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. Mucho you? mejor. No sé cómo se dice, teacher. Mucho mejor. A lot better. A lot better. Mm, that's nice. That's nice. How was your day? Uh, very good. A good day? That's nice. <laughs> More uh, pacific. <laughs> I'm sorry? More pacific. More pacific. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, you know, you know. <laughs> things. I mean, you gotta get you gotta get used to stuff because sometimes, I mean, some days are heavy, some days are calm, some days are weird. Algunos días son raros. Right? For me. También. <laughs> yeah, but... Pero este día, no, muy pacífico. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, it's important to be like, to face it as it comes. Hay que verlo como viene, I mean. Exactly. In the end, there's no way out. Al final, no hay de otra. <laughs> Solo hay que disfrutar. Yeah, sure, sure. Uh -huh. I mean, as I told you, there's nothing else to do. No hay otra cosa por hacer. You gotta enjoy the day as it comes. And in the end, you know, <laughs> things are like that all the time. Well, Ruth, a pleasure to have you here and welcome. Thank you, teacher. Let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What happened or what's happened? Oh, here you are. Let's see who else is around. <laughs> hey, Rafael, good evening. Hey, teacher, good evening. How's your shift? ¿Cómo va el turno? Uh, eh, ahorita en camino todavía. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, it's, uh, it's very... Um, Go uh, my office. You are going to your office. Yeah. Oh. So you're gonna be you're gonna stay there all night. Uh no no no. Uh, easy day. Oh okay. Yeah. Um, turno, ¿cómo se dice? Chief. Chief. Uh, easy day. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah. Uh, emer emergence, uh, emergencies. Emergencies. Emergencies is now uh, call in chief of night. Well, that's good. It's yeah. good to know that you didn't have it that hard. Yeah, it's hard. Is is the is the traffic is in dry? Uh, causa mucho estrés. 
Yeah, of course, of course. Traffic is something that always, always stress out. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, as I told you, uh, uh, uh. we gotta face it as it comes. Well, Rafael, let's let's talk later when you are there already. Okay. Okay. Thank you. No problem. No problem. Let's see who else is around. Hey, lady. Hello. Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Mm, so so. So so. Okay, okay, that's nice. And tell me, how was your day? And today we have interview in the office. Oh really? Mm -hmm. And how did it go? ¿Y cómo les fue? Mm. No encontramos un perfil para, para lo que necesitamos. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. oh, so sorry to hear that. How many people did you interview? Mm, four persons. Four persons? Mm hmm Okay, well, that's that's some people. That's a, a good quantity. Ya es una buena cantidad. Sí, habían mandado 50, pero solo se seleccionaron cuatro. Y en bueno. la entrevista no. Okay, you just got four out of 50, you say? Mm -hmm. Man, that's a lot of people. Yeah. That's a lot of people. And uh, and what time did you finish working? I mean, what time did you finish that activity? Um, ¿Cómo así? ¿A qué horas terminaron dicha actividad? Uh, empezamos... Desde las ocho hasta las, quiero ver, hasta la una. From eight to one. Eight to one. Wow, that's a lot. Mm. Very, something. very hard. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Me imagino. Mm -hmm. Once, uh, two months, como buscando, o sea, dos meses buscando y... Two months looking for a person. Two months looking for a person. Wow, that's a lot of time. Mm -hmm. Well, let's hope you can find. Esperemos que encuentren. It's hard to be interviewing people, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. I understand you, but but in the end, it's it's worth it. Al final, es vale la pena. Um, the past year. Last year. Last year, um, we have a. Uh, Bad experience. Bad experience. Bad experience. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. mm, that's a problem. Yeah, you know, the thing is that when you interview people, uh, I mean, you got to risk it. Uno se arriesga. That happened because sometimes, I mean, people pass the, the interview and in the end, the situation is different and... People act different. Uh, it's it's not easy. Sí. Y como nosotros trabajamos con diferentes actores, o sea, con alcaldías, con eh, departamentales, 
con profesores, directores, con estudiantes. Entonces, el perfil que se necesita es como bastante... Y en las entrevistas no vemos que, que cumplan con, con eso. Mm, that's a problem. Yeah, because because of your or your particular situation, you become a little bit demanding, right? Mm -hmm. And what what type of professional are you looking for? ¿Qué profesional están buscando? Um, formador docente. I'm sorry. Formador docente. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. mm. Entonces tiene que manejar sobre los enfoques socioinformativos, de literacidad, razonamiento lógico matemático, enfoque de género. Son como bastantes. Pues tienen que poder manejar porque vamos a 58 centros educativos y están como bien le lejanos. Entonces, es un montón de cosas. Wow. That's a lot of work. Yeah, and it's not that easy to find someone, right? <laughs> but let's be patient. Let's be patient. Hay que armarse de paciencia. I mean, what else can you do? <laughs> so be patient and let's hope for the best. <laughs> Thank you. Nah, no problem, no problem. And thanks to you, welcome. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Give me just a second. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm closing and closing stuff that I don't need. Okay, here we go. Who else is around? Hey, Nilton, hello. Hi, teacher. How are you, mister? I am, I am fine. Um, I do say, um, I do say, uh, Every day, hago lo mismo todos los días. The same routine. <laughs> yeah. Well. Así que estoy bien ahora. So, Igual que ayer. <laughs> everything's okay. The same old story. Same old uh, story. La misma vieja historia. Yeah. That, that expression means the same every day. It's like if I come and ask you, hey, Nilton, how are you? How's everything? And you tell me, oh, same old story. That means the same routine every day. Nothing new, nothing special. Okay. Como? The same? The uh, same old story. Ah, uh, the same old story. Okay. I, nada en especial por hoy. Mm, well, what can we do, right? So... Tell me, what time do you usually go to sleep, Nilton? Uh, I usually go to sleep at 10.30 p.m. this 30. Oh, really? Yeah. That's early. That's very early. Well, for me, it's early. I'm sorry. For me, it's very early. Uh, antes, Before... I go to the... Before, uh -huh, okay, before I go to I used sleep. To, I used to go to sleep. I used to go to sleep at 8 p.m. every day. At 8 p.m. every yeah. day? Man. I did this day, English. That's crazy. Yeah. I mean, for me, it's unbelievable. Wow, 8 p.m. No. Yeah. Never in my life. <laughs> Perhaps when pero, I was a kid. Pero es que, por ejemplo, cuando se daba bachillerato, a veces me dormía a esa hora y despertaba en la madrugada, tipo tres, y ahí iniciaba mi, mi día. Entonces, a esa hora comenzaba a hacer tareas porque nadie me, me escribía. Yeah, nobody was interrupting. Yeah, 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 I understand you. 
but still wouldn't do it. Aún así no lo hiciera yo. No, no, okay. no, no, no. For me, no way, no way. That's not my thing. Nilton, nice having you here. Welcome. Okay, thank you. Lelia, hello, how are you? Hello, fine. How was your day? Um, my day uh, was that. Oh, really? A heavy day at work? Uh, yes. Okay, well, so sorry uh, to hear that. Um, I, I got up at 5 a.m. I uh, went to work. Uh, I drink coffee. Um, at noon, we went out for lunch with my group. Oh, really? That's cool. Yes, um, nos fuimos a, fuimos a despedir a una compañera que va a cambiar de trabajo. Mm, that's nice, that's nice. What did you have for lunch? Perdón. What did you have for lunch? Uh, What did you eat? Uh, uh, What did you eat for lunch? ¿Qué almorzó? ¿Qué comí? Ah. Yes, exactly. Ah, un plato que se llama croissant. Croissant. Hmm. Uh -huh. That's cool. Yes. So something light, algo liviano. Ay, ni tan liviano. Oh, really? Sí, estaba... Oh, that's nice. I like, I like, uh, baby, fortune. <laughs> yeah, that happens. That happens sometimes. But I mean, it's not every day. No es todos los días, so it's okay. No, no. Well, so glad to hear that you had a little bit of fun. Welcome to the class, Clelia. Thank you. Okay, guys, let me get the attendance. Ana Marlene Andrade de Osorio. Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Uh, Carlos Miguel Umaña Lobo. Present. Clelia Estela Flores de Molina. Present. Diana Maribel Hueso Portillo. Eric Josué Reyes Molina. Present teacher. Irving Otonier Camilla Guerra. Iván Alberto Castillo Alas. Thank you, Iván. Jocelyn Karen Meléndez Rivas. Thank you, Karen. José Alfredo Hueso López. Present teacher. And Julio César Aguillón Arevalo. Present teacher. Thank you. Lady Joana Hernandez Ventura. Present teacher. Marjorie Angelica Ardón Granillo. Present teacher. Nilton Alexander Vázquez Galvez. Sorry, present, present. Rafael Antonio Hernandez Castillo. Present teacher. Ruth Guadalupe Asensio Arevalo. Present teacher. Santos Claudia Pineda. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas Present teacher And Walter Ernesto Perez Galvez Present teacher Okay guys That's excellent Well, let's continue Well, welcome all of you uh, I'm so sorry for the ones that I couldn't talk right now A little conversation Because today Today you are going to have a heavy class. We got to cover a lot of stuff tonight. So I'm going to tell you, first we're going to see a conversation from the manual. Then we're going to see, a, do a small exercise. Then we got a grammar explanation from the manual. Then I have prepared a, a PPT so you can, we can analyze the grammar point. Uh, today we're going to work with present perfect tense. And 
After that, we go back to conversation and it's gonna be around nine, 10 at that time. So it's, it's a heavy day in class, okay? So we gotta start with the conversation that it's from the manual. Okay, but first we got a couple of questions. These are in the manual. I'm gonna show them to you. Se las mostraré en el manual, okay? Uh, what we are going to do is this, guys. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Okay. The questions we are going to analyze are this one. How often do you have problems with your computer? Who is in charge of checking on them when there is a problem? Look at guys. How often do you have problems with your computer? Who is in charge of checking on them when there is a problem? Okay. What we're going to do, these questions right here are the ones that we are going to ask and answer. That's going to be fast because the answers are quite direct, okay? You're going to be working in pretty small groups so you can share the info with your classmate. Remember, it's gonna be related about your workplace. And let me see, I just need to make a small change here. Okay, groups are open three minutes. Let me rearrange this group. Déjenme hacer un pequeño modificación en este grupo.
Verónica, who were you with? ¿Con quién estaba? I don't hear you. Nope, I don't hear you. But don't worry, everybody's coming back. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Well, uh, what were we talking about these questions? Um, they were very simple, right? How often do you have problems with your computer and who is in charge of checking on them when there is a problem? Okay, let's see. Carlos Miguel, do you use a computer in your workplace? Hello, teacher. Hello. Once a year. Hello. Oh, the, the computer gives you problem once a year. Mm -hmm. Yes. And who checks on mm -hmm. it? Can I revisa? Um, I fix my computer. Oh, that's I am cool. engineering. Mm. I am an engineer. Yes, I am in your um, system oh, really? of networking. That's cool. Yes. You know, uh, whenever mine gets a problem, I got a hammer. Yo tengo un martillo. It works, you know. <laughs> and at the same time, I get rid um, of stress. I libero stress, so no problem. <laughs> well, interesting, interesting. So, man, you just cut me... Over. Me dejó sin palabras. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, I was going to make some other follow up questions, but in your case, you do it on your own. Okay. Now, guys, we got us here a conversation. Thank you very much, mister. We got us here a conversation that we are going to work with. Okay. Now, I need you just to listen to me, okay? Just listen to me. No checking on the manual. Sin revisar en el manual. What's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. I have checked it everywhere and it won't turn on. That's too bad. How about the connection? Have you checked? All the cables are plugged? Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician, has checked it too. We have not verified the rest of the computers. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Yeah, I hear that. Has the maintenance team replaced the batteries? No, they haven't. My boss sends them a memo every week. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Great. I hope he can fix this problem. I repeat one more time. 
What's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. Uh, I have checked it everywhere and it won't turn on. That's too bad. How about the connection? Have you checked all the cables are plugged? Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician, has checked it too. We have not verified the rest of the computers. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Yeah, I heard that. Has the maintenance team replaced the batteries? No, they haven't. My boss sends them a memo every week. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Great. I hope he can fix this problem. Okay, guys. Let me share now the conversation with you. Okay. It goes like this. What's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. I have checked it everywhere and it won't turn on. That's too bad. How about the connection? Have you checked all the cables are plugged? Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician, has checked it too. We have not verified the rest of the computers. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Yeah, I heard that. Has the maintenance team replaced the batteries? No, they haven't. My boss sends them a memo every week. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Great. I hope he can fix this problem. Okay, guys. I'm going to send you to the groups. Five minutes for you to practice.
Okay, let's see. Everybody's coming back. Okay, guys, let's see. <laughs> Who's gonna start? Here we go. Uh, Veronica Elizabeth and Carlos Miguel, please. Veronica, you start. Okay. What's wrong with the computer, George? Um, hello, Luck. Uh, well done. No. Where, pardon, hello, Luck. Well, I don't know. I have checked it everywhere and it won't run. That's too bad. How about the connection? How you check all the cables are plugged? Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician, has checked it too. We have not verified the rest of the computers. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Yeah, I heard that. Has the maintenance team replaced the batteries? No, they haven't. My boss sends them a memo every week. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Great. I hope he can fix this problem. Okay, perfect. Ana Marlene, you ready? Yes. Okay, Ana Marlene and Clelia Estela. Clelia, Hello. you start. Okay. What's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. I have checked it everywhere and it won't turn on. That's too bad. How about the connection? I've checked all the code, code are plugged. Yes, I have. And Mario then technician. That, that technician. The technician. The technician. Has checked it too. We have not verified the rest of the computers. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Equipment? Equipment. Yeah, I heard that. As the, the maintenance team replaced the battery. No, they haven't. My boss sent them a memo every week. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Great. I hope you can fix this problem. Okay, perfect. Claudia Pineda and Eric Josué. Hello. Eric, you start. Okay. Uh, what's world with the computer, George? <clears throat> Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. I have checked it everywhere and it won't turn up. That's too bad. How about the connection? Have you checked all the cables uh, are pulled? Yes, cables. I have. Cables. Cables. Yes, I have. And Mario, that technic technician, has checking is too. We have not verified the rest on the computer. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. 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 Yeah, I heard that. Uh, was the maintenance team replaced the battery? No, they have they haven't. My boss sent they a memo very good. I see. By the way, uh, the technician is coming. Great. I hope he can fix this problem. Perfect. <laughs> okay, Ivan, are you ready?
Okay. Jose Alfredo and Julio Aguichon. Julio, you start. Uh, Julio, what's what's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, Glue. Uh, well, I don't know. I have checked in everywhere, and I want to run. That's too bad. How about the connection? Have you checked all the cables are pulling? Cables. Cables. Cables are pulling. Plugged. Like yes, I have. And Mario, the technician, has checked it too. We have not verified the rest of the computers. Anna has had the same problem with her equip equipment. Verified. Verified. Yeah, yeah. I heard of that. Have they maintained? Maintenance. maintenance maintenance thing replen replace the battery no they haven't my boss sent the uh, a memo every week i see by the way the technician is coming great i hope i hope he he what he can fix the problem great 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 perfect Lady and Marjorie. Lady, you start. What's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. I have checked it everywhere and I want to know. That's too bad. How about the connection? Have to check all the cables are blue. Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician, has checked check it too. We have not verified the rest of the computer. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Yeah, I heard that. Has the maintenance team replaced the batteries? No, they haven't. My boss sends them a memo every week. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Great. I hope he can fix this problem. Okay, lady. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maintenance. 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 Okay. <laughs> Nilton and Rafael Antonio. Okay. Nilton, you start. Perfect. What's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. I have checked it everywhere and it won't turn on. That's too, that's too bad. How how about the connection? Have you checked out the cable? Cables, cables are plugged. Cables. cables are plugged. 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 Uh, plugged. plugged. <laughs> Come on. Plugged. Plugged. Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician, has checked it too. We have not verified the rest of the computers. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Yeah, I heard that. Has the maintenance team replaced the batteries? No, they haven't. My boss sends them a memo every week. I see. By the way, the technical is coming. By the way, by the way. By the way, the technician, the technician is coming. Perfect, thank you. Okay. Ruth and Walter. 
Ruth, you start. Thank you, teacher. What home, why the computer, John? Hello, look. Where I don't know. I have checked it, it everywhere and it won't turn on. That's too bad. How about the connection? How do you check all the cables are too? Yes, I have. I'm married. The technician has checked it too. We have not verified the rest of the computers. Anna has had the same problem with the with her equipment. 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 Yeah, I heard that as the maintenance. Maintenance. Maintenance then replace the battery. No, they haven't. My boss sends them a memo every week. I see. By the way, the technician uh, is coming. Great. I hope he can fix this problem. Perfect. Thank you. Is anybody missing? Me falta alguien? No. Okay. Okay, guys, attendance again. Ana Marlene Andrade de Osorio. Present teacher. Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Carlos Miguel Umaña Lobo. Present. Lelia Estela Flores de Molina. Diana Maribel Hueso Portillo. Eric Josué Reyes Molina. Present teacher. Irving Otoniel Escamilla Guerra. Iván Alberto Castillo Alas. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening. Jocelyn Karen Meléndez Rivas. Thank you. José Alfredo Hueso López. Present, teacher. Julio César Aguillón Arevalo. Present. Lady Joana Hernández Ventura. Present. Marjorie Angélica Ardón Granillo. Present. Nilton Alexander Vázquez Galvez. Present. Rafael Antonio Hernández Castillo. Ruth Guadalupe Asensio Arevalo. Presente. Santos Claudia Pineda. Presente. Presente. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Presente. Walter Ernesto Pérez Galvez. Presente. Thank you, guys. Okay, let's continue. Okay, let me share with you now. On specific time. Okay, guys, we're going to work tonight with present perfect tense, okay? Well, 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 the present perfect tense, very interesting topic, by the way. Oops. Okay. If we are talking about an event which happened in the past and if we don't give an exact time, yesterday, two days ago, last week, we can use the present perfect tense. The exact time is not important. Okay, when you say yesterday, two days ago, last week, last year, the, the exact moment is not what we are focusing on. That's when we use the present perfect tense. 
Entonces, cuando usamos el presente perfecto. Ok, look at the sentence. I have bought a new house. I have made some changes. I have painted the walls blue. I have changed the curtains. I have removed the carpet on the stairs. When? It could have been yesterday, last week, two days ago. You notice? I have bought. I have painted. I have changed. I have removed. Okay, next rule. We often use the present perfect tense to talk about the continuing situation. This is a state that started in the past and continues in the present and will probably continue into the future. This is a state. It is not an action. Es un estado, no una acción. We usually use for or since with this structure. I have taught English since the year 2000. I have taught English. He enseñado inglés. Okay, David has been at the sea since July. He hasn't seen his family for five months. Sorry, next example, look. Something that started in the 70s and is still is happening in the present. Sam became a shoemaker in 1970. He is still working. Okay. He has been a shoemaker since 1970. Okay. Questions up to here? Preguntas hasta el momento? No. Okay. Rule number three. We use it for an action which happened in the near past, in el pasado cercano. It, and it has a strong connections or effects to the present. I have broken my arm. It still hurts. Okay, it's happened perhaps yesterday, a few days ago, today in the morning. You walked in the rain yesterday and look, you got a call. You look very bad. In this case, you see, you walk in the rain yesterday. Caminaste bajo la lluvia ayer. And look, you have got a call. Has obtenido una gripa. And the rule number four. If we are talking about the period, like today, this morning, this week, this month, this year, this century, which hasn't fi finished, then we can use the present perfect tense. But we are going to check out some other examples, okay? Look, cinema. Are they kidding? I haven't watched TV this month. Would you like to go to the cinema? And then you see, cinema, are they kidding? I haven't watched TV this month. No he visto. I haven't. No he. I haven't watched. No he visto. No, thank you. I have been to the cinema twice this week. I have been. He estado. Okay, next one. Lately, recently. These words give us information about the events happening in the near past. They don't give a specific time. Look, not an specific time in the past. So we use the present perfect. There has been a great progress against cancer recently. Ha habido un gran progreso. When recently, en un pasado muy cercano, recently, recientemente. Have you seen any good films recently? Has tu visto? Unfortunately, I have been very busy lately. Oh, that's me. Question up to here. Preguntas hasta acá. Okay. We also use these words in this sentence. In this tense. 
In the present perfect tense, we use already, just, yet. Look, the room is dirty now. Have you sent the emails yet? Of course, boss, I have already. Yo ya los he enviado. Is it clean now? She has just cleaned. Está limpio en este momento. Ella acaba de limpiar. The washing machine is still working. It hasn't finished yet. Aún no ha terminado. Aún. Okay, this is Attila. He lives in Turkey, but he's not in Turkey now. He has gone. Él se ha ido. To Egypt. He has been in Egypt for a week. Okay, guys, give me 30 seconds, please. Just 30 seconds. So sorry, guys, a little inconvenience here. Let me continue, but let me make a pause. Vamos a hacer una pausa. Hasta este momento. How we understood? Hemos entendido? So, so, teacher. So, so. Okay. Uh, if you excuse me for like one or two minutes, I will switch into Spanish. Si me permiten unos dos minutos, voy a cambiar al español. Okay. Present perfect. El presente perfecto. It's very simple. Eh, es muy simple. It refers to something that started in the past and is not finished yet. Algo que comenzó en el pasado y aún no ha terminado. ¿Ok? Like, uh, I have taught English for more than 20 years. Yo he enseñado inglés por más de 20 años. I started 20 years ago. Comencé hace 20 años. That's way back in the time, right? Eso hace mucho tiempo. I'm still teaching English, right? Aún lo hago. And tomorrow I will wake up, get dressed, get ready, and go to teach. And at night, tomorrow night, if I'm alive, I'm going to be teaching here. So the action is not finished. La acción no ha terminado. Okay? Man, I love reading. Me encanta leer. I have read many books. He leído muchísimos libros. Look, siempre digo yo he. Ruth has missed one or two class. Ruth se ha perdido una o dos clases. Right? Creo. Not sure. No, just one. Okay. And she tells me, no, I have lost just one. Y me dice, no, me he perdido solo una. Me he perdido. Yo dije, Ruth ha perdido. Okay. Marjorie has talked to us about her parties. Marjorie nos ha hablado acerca de sus fiestas. Oh, una acción que sucedió en un pasado cercano, ¿verdad? Nos ha hablado. Puede ser que nos ha... cuente de otra nuevamente. ¿Ok? Okay. Mm, sorry, 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 sorry. Now, eh, algo que también debemos de tomar en cuenta es esto. Miren, se lo pongo simple. Si se fijan, uso el verbo have, el verbo tener. Se convierte en el verbo haber. Yo he, tú has, el a. ¿Ok? El verbo principal de la oración está en pasado participio. 
¿Cuál es el pasado participio? En los verbos regulares es el mismo que el pasado simple, ed. En los verbos irregulares, pues ni modo, hay que aprendérselos. Pero para que entendamos la idea, que es lo primero que me interesa, es esto. Terminación ado, ido. Comido, saltado, estudiado, trabajado, dormido, discutido, arreglado. ¿Ok? Esa terminación ado, ido en los verbos es el pasado participio. Questions up to here? ¿Cómo vamos hasta ahí? We okay? Ahora sí. A little bit better, right? Creo que un poco yes, mejor, ¿no? That's better, teacher. That's better. Okay, okay. Well, I'll go back to the presentation, okay? Me voy de regreso a la presentación. We have the... Um, no, dará parte de la presentación o ese material. Se, siempre se la voy a compartir como un PDF. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Don't worry, don't worry. Whenever I prepare a presentation, I will share it with you as a PDF. Siempre que preparen una okay. presentación, yo se las comparto como PDF. Okay. No problem. No, oh, my pleasure, my pleasure. Okay, so. Oh, let's see. So, look. We got the have or has the auxiliary plus the past participle. Affirmative. That's in the affirmative sentence. For the negative sentence, we have hasn't or haven't plus the past participle. For the interrogative, we have have or has plus subject plus past participle. What's that? Let's check it out like this. Look, I have traveled subject, auxiliary, Main verb in past participle. Negative. I have not traveled. Question. Have I traveled? As you can see, you have traveled. You have not traveled. Have you traveled? Look. We have traveled. We have not traveled. Have we traveled? And look. For the third person singular. Para la tercera persona singular. Has. He has traveled. El a. She has, ella. Look, they have, ellos han. Questions here? Preguntas acá? Okay. Signal words. These words, uh, of, we use them a lot with this. Las usamos mucho con el presente perfecto. Ever. Have you ever, uh, let's see... Imagine that I'm talking to Marjorie. I ask Marjorie, Marjorie, have you ever eaten shark? Have you ever? El ever en este caso es, ¿has alguna vez? Have you ever, has tú alguna vez, eaten shark? Comido tiburón. Es delicious. Try it. Es delicioso. Pruébalo. Yes. In ceviche, me parece. Oh, yeah, yeah. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Look, I have never... Man, I have done many things. Let's see. What I have never... Oh, I have never bungee jump. Nunca he saltado en bungee. I have never. Okay. So, that way we use these words. I have already finished the report. I have already. Yo ya terminé. I haven't finished the report yet. Yo aún no he terminado el reporte. So far, I have covered half of the course. So far, hasta el momento, I have covered half of the course. He cubierto la mitad del curso. I have always carry a book with me. Siempre. Yo siempre he cargado un libro conmigo. I have always. Okay? So, these are signal words. They tell us that most of the time the sentence is going to be in present perfect. So, what I told you, it's an unspecified time before now. A moment in the past, we are in the present, perhaps it can continue. But let's do something. 
hagamos algo. What about if I explain a little bit different? Le voy a explicar de otra manera también. Mostly the structure. Okay, guys, let's see. Now, the present perfect tense. That's what we are talking, okay? Now, something that we need to remember. Near past, un pasado cercano. Unspecified moment in the past. Comenzó en un momento inespecífico, no especificado. In the past. Not conclude. Algo que no ha concluido. That's what we express. Ok. That's what we are expressing by using the present perfect tense. Okay? Now, structures, estructura. When we have the affirmative sentence. In the affirmative, sorry, you have subject plus Auxiliary. The auxiliary is the verb have or the verb or the, the form of have for the third person, la forma del have para la tercera persona, has plus the main verb, el verbo principal, in past participle and then the complement plus complement okay that's the affirmative so that means that an affirmative sentence will be look I have worked here for many years. Look at this sentence. I have worked here for many years. So if you notice, what do we have here? Okay. This is the subject, right? We got here the auxiliary, right? We got here the main verb in past participle. And then we have here, all this is the complement. Okay? Questions up to here? Preguntas hasta ahí? Nope. Okay. That was the affirmative. Now we go with the negative. The negative form. It's very simple. Why? Because what we are going to do is the subject plus the auxiliary, we already know that the auxiliary is have or has, right? Have or has, depending on the person. Depende de quien estemos hablando. Plus, not. Plus the main verb of the sentence in past participle.
plus the complement. And that's the structure for the negative sentence. So the same example, el mismo ejemplo. Look at the sentence. Look, I have not worked here for many years. And that's the negative form. And as you can see, again, subject, auxiliary, right? The negation, not. The verb in past participle. And the complement. Right? All this is the complement. Questions? Preguntas? And after that, we have the interrogative form. Stop me if you got any doubt. Avísenme si tienen alguna duda. You can stop me anytime. Pueden detenerme en cualquier momento. For the interrogative form. Okay, what's the structure? Same story. The only thing that changes is that now the auxiliary goes at the beginning. Look. Auxiliary. Again, we know that we are talking about have or has. Don't worry about this. I will send you a screenshot. No se preocupen por esto que se lo voy a mandar en un screenshot. Okay? Just check it out. We got auxiliary, have or has, plus the subject, plus the verb in past participle, plus complement, plus question mark and we go back look we go back to the same example have I work here for many years and the question mark. And here we got the sentence. Look, again, the structure goes like this. The auxiliary, the subject, the verb in past participle, the complement, and the question mark. Remember again, please don't ever forget that all this, sorry, that all this is complement. Okay? Now, little tips, things to remember. Pequeñas cosas para recordar. Please do not forget. Have not can be contracted into haven't and has not contracts into hasn't, okay? Something else. 
pass participle. It's the ending. Ado. Ido. Remember? Estudiado, saltado, comido, perdido, ganado. Are we clear, guys? ¿Estamos bien? Please, tell me, tell me, o pregúntenme. Teacher, pregunta. Yes. Eh, la, el auxiliar, en este caso, siempre que sea presente al principio, dice, siempre va a ser ha o has, independiente okay. independe de lo que sea. Yes, yes, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Gracias por recordarme. No. If you got I, you, we, they, cuando tenemos estas personas, the auxiliary is have. ¿Ok? El auxiliar es have cuando estamos hablando de Oops, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What did I do? Oh, here. Oopsie. Que borré. Oh. I'm sorry, guys. I will send this again. My bad. Solo un segundo. Auxiliary. Subject. Verb in past participle. Complement. Question mark. Okay. Yes, what I was telling you, lo que les mencionaba, with have, we use have with I, you, we, and they. Siempre va a ser el verbo have, el auxiliar para el presente perfecto. Yes, it's going to be always have. The only difference is this, that remember, guys, recordemos que we use. Recordemos que utilizamos. Remember that when we are talking, recordemos que cuando estamos hablando de la tercera persona del singular, o sea, cuando hablamos de él, de ella, o de un objeto, o de un animal, o sea, when we are talking about he, she, or it, vamos a utilizar has. ¿Era esa su pregunta? Yes, teacher. Ok. ¿Quieren que les comparta este, mi desorden? Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher, please. Okay, we'll do right now. Okay, lo haremos en este instante. Give me just one second, guys. Denme solo un instante.
Okay, there you go. Okay, any question about the present perfect? Preguntas con el presente perfecto? No, remember the, the verbs. Oh. Remember the verbs in past participle. In that case, for the irregulars, you need to learn them. Los irregulares hay que aprendérselos. The best way to learn them is by practice. La mejor manera de aprenderlos es practicándolos, applying them. Ok. Utilizándolos. Because, I mean, well, some people can get a list and start like learning them, memorize them. Algunas personas les funciona eso, agarrar la lista y memorizarla. In my case, it doesn't work like that. Yo no puedo así, but if that works for you, that's cool. If not, what I would advise you is this. Si no, lo que yo le recomendaría es eh, check out the ones that you use the most during the day. Piensa en las actividades que usted hace más en el día. Look up for those verbs. Busque esos verbos. And along the day, all along the day, try to make sentences. Trate de hacer oraciones in present perfect. Like uh, el verbo como, por ejemplo, llegar. Oh, I have arrived on time this week. Yo he llegado a tiempo esta semana. I have checked out late. Yo he marcado la salida tarde. I have always connected to the class. Yo siempre me he conectado a la clase. You see? You look for activities that you perform and you start like memorize them by making sentences and you make double practice because you practice the verb and the structure. Y practica la estructura. If you got any doubt all along the day, you can text me about that. Si tienen una duda durante el día, escríbanme. No problem. I can help if you got a sentence, something that you saw in that tense, algo que se le ocurrió en ese tiempo. You can text me. Okay, I can help you correct or just check if it's okay. Now, the present perfect look. For us, let me clarify something. Para nosotros sí es a little bit weird, un poquito raro. Because we think slightly different. It's funny, we think more in past perfect. Nosotros pensamos más en pasado perfecto. It's more common for us to say, eh, nosotros más fácil decir, yo había estudiado para el examen, dice uno. Right? Y me saqué mala nota. But the expression, yo he estudiado para el examen, we don't use it like that. We don't, we don't think like that in Spanish that much. No pensamos en español tanto de esa manera. You say, yo estudié para el examen. Right? Le preguntamos a alguien, estudiaste, right? We use more the simple past instead of the present perfect. Utilizamos más el pasado simple en lugar del presente perfecto. But in English... I'm so sorry to tell you, we use it a lot. And you gotta think like that. En inglés se usa mucho. And it's good for you to learn it because it helps you think more properly. Nos ayuda a pensar mejor. It's more specific. And it's clearer to make yourself understood. Y es más claro para darse a entender. Okay? So, we're gonna practice it. Vamos a practicarlo. Okay? Uh... I'll try to, to send you extra exercises. Voy a tratar de mandarle ejercicios extra in this tense so you can check it out para que ustedes puedan revisarlo. But now we're going to do an exercise from the manual. Tenemos todavía un ejercicio más del manual. Give me just one second. Okay. If you see the present perfect, use the present perfect to talk about unfinished actions or states or habits that started in the past and continue to the present. We use the verbs in the, part in the participle form and the auxiliary have, 
has for third person singular, he, she, it. And we use have for the rest of the pronouns. So the structure is subject, auxiliary, have or has, plus the verb and past participle, plus the complement. Look at example, I have checked the reports. She has explained her situation. They have not replaced the battery. The team has not had that kind of problems. In negative statements, I'll not after the auxiliary. This is what I was explaining to you. Esto es lo que les estaba explicando, okay? So let's go to the exercise. Now, this is something different. Look, you have to write affirmative and negative sentences using the prompts, okay? Remember, this is negative, number two. Number four is negative. The rest are affirmative. We are working with affirmative and negative sentences. Okay? Now, this exercise, again, you go and work in groups so you can share the info. You can help each other. And look, my connection is giving me problems. Mi conexión me está dando problemitas. That's why you don't see me in the groups jumping from group to group. Por eso es que no estoy pasando de grupo a grupo. I tried at the beginning, traté al inicio, and it took me long. Me llevó mucho tiempo conectarme. That means that I could get kicked out. Podría ser que el sistema me saque si, si lo hago. So I'm going to be here waiting for you. I'll give you five minutes for you to perform the exercise. Le voy a dar cinco minutos para que hagan el ejercicio. Okay? I'll send you the screenshot. Ya les envío el screenshot.
60 seconds, guys, 60 seconds. Okay, guys, let's check it out. It was easy, right? Ah, fácil, no? Let's check it out. Let's check it out. How did it go for you? Okay. <laughs> Lady, sentence number one, please tell me, how did it go? Mario has changed the views. Okay. Let's see, she said Mario has... Has changed... Changed... Oops. The views. I'm sorry. Changed... Change the fuse. Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Let's see. Next one. Jose Alfredo, number two. Um, number two, uh, the production has not stopped. Okay. The production has not stopped. Oops. Stopped. Perfect. Number three. Number three goes to mm -hmm. Nilton. Number three, please. Nilton, hello. Oh, hello, teacher. Sorry, tengo mal internet, pero sería or. Thing has 
fix the equipment. Our team has fixed the yeah. equipment. Perfect. Thank you. Veronica Elizabeth, number four. Okay, teacher, uh, number four, perdón. Jenny has not plotted the cards. The cards. Give me just a second, please. Just a second, just a second. Okay. Jenny has not has plugged, plugged, plugged the cords. The cords. Perfect. The cords is the same as the cables, right? Okay. Walter, last one. Okay. Um, the secretary has make a no copies. Okay. Now the the accent. Check out the accent. Fíjese en el acento. The secretary. Secretary. Has made a make. Okay. The secretary, secretary has made make. enough okay. enough copies. Enough copies. And the last one goes to let's see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wait. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The last one, let's see. Uh, Jose Alfredo, help me with the last one, please. Excuse me, teacher. The last sentence? Oración numero seis. Ah. Uh. The technician uh, has uh, uh, checked the connectors. The technician has checked, checked, checked the connector. Oh, connectors. Connector. Okay, perfect. Remember, ED after K sounds as a T. La ED después de la letra K suena como una T. Checked. Checked. Okay, guys. So, the sentences. Mario has changed the fuse. The production has not stopped. Our team has fixed the equipment. Jenny has not plugged the cords. The secretary has made enough copies. The technician has checked the connector. Questions, guys? No? Okay. Wow. Ah, well, as I told you, tonight is going to be, was going to be a, a heavy class because the topic is big, right? And the explanation of the topic is not that easy. But so good, so good the way you solve it. Okay, any question about this topic? Preguntas con este tema? Teacher, excuse me. Uh, yes, sure. We, uh, in this, in this is the practice, we have only the rule number one. I'm sorry? Rule, rule, la regla, numero uno. O como, como se va a ir viendo 
cada una de las reglas que usted dio para utilizar el... The present perfect. No, I will send you exercises. Le voy a enviar ejercicios extra so you can like practice oh. them all para que las practiquen todas. No worry. Okay. Okay, thank you, teacher. No problem, no problem. Okay, guys. Well, let's see, let's see, let's see. Walter, hello, Walter. Hello, teacher. How How's everything, Walter? Tell me. I got a couple of questions for you. Oh, I'm so sorry, Walter. Just a little something here. Solo un pequeño detalle. Uh, I have told you guys yesterday that we were going to work tonight with the with the questions about the job interviews. But the problem is that uh, this topic became too big, right? Okay, Walter, what are some good points about social media? Social media? Yes. Yeah. Do you can you tell me something good about social media? Is it any good? I mean the social media. Um, the thing is good or bad? Uh, I mean it's good for uh, certain cosas. Uh, Mm, we uh, have uh, no uh, or a person in all countries when when I use the the, the social media. Okay. Mm. Thank you very much. Okay. Now let's see, lady. What about you? Uh, do you think there's something bad? What can you tell me about points about social media? Um, What's ¿cómo bad? Decir que, ajá, ¿cómo, ¿Cómo decir que los extremos son los malos? The extremes? Okay, explain. Elaborate, please. Explíquese. Uh, que si nos dejamos como absorber por ellas, este, a veces perdemos como nuestra, nuestra identidad o, o lo que somos por copiar lo que vemos en ellas. Entonces pienso que es como los extremos son los malos. Ok, we lost our identity. We lost our identity. 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 Okay, perfect. Now let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Ruth. Hi, How are you? Fine. Fine. <laughs> okay, I got a question for you. Le tengo una preguntita. Okay. Okay. What kind of information are you comfortable releasing in social media? What kind of information are you comfortable sharing in social media? ¿Qué tipo de información se siente usted cómoda compartiendo? Um, uh, for example, cursos de support. <laughs> I'm sorry? Yo comparto cursos de support. Cuando oh. veo, lo comparto porque hay personas que no, no, no saben sobre eso. He tenido conocidos 
sobre eso y lo hago. Entonces, cuando veo alguno, siempre lo comparto. So, information in general. Mm, information, ¿cómo se dice? Religioso. Religious. Religious. Education. Ok. No, no, no cualquier cosa realmente. Ok, ok. So, no memes, no, no, eso no. So, you choose what you, what you share. You're a little bit picky. Es un poquito más cuidadosa. Interesting, interesting. Yes. Ok, guys. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm so sorry, guys. The, as I told you, the topic became big. Uh, tomorrow we are going to make a little practice. And tomorrow we are going to cover the questions about job interviews, okay? I promise. Les prometo que mañana sí. I'm so sorry, but the explanation, I wanted it to be clear. Quería que la explicación, la estructura quedara clara. Because it's a little bit heavy, porque es un poquito pesadito, okay? My apologies, mis disculpas. But I prefer to extend and to expand on this. Prefiero expandirme en esto. Now, let's see. Let me get the final attendance. Wow, the time went fast. El tiempo se fue rápido. Let's see. Ana Marlene Andrade de Osorio. Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Carlos Miguel Umaña Lobo. Present. Clelia Estela Flores de Molina. Present. Diana Maribel Hueso Portillo. Eric Josué Reyes Molina. Present, teacher. Irving Otoniel Escamilla Guerra. Iván Alberto Castillo Alas. Jocelyn Karen Meléndez Rivas. José Alfredo Hueso López. Present teacher. Lady Joana Hernández Ventura. Present. Marjorie Angélica Ardón Granillo. Nilton Alexander Vázquez Galvez. Present. Rafael Antonio Hernández Castillo. Present teacher. Ruth Guadalupe Asensio Arevalo. Present teacher. Santos Claudia Pineda. Present. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Present teacher. Walter Ernesto Pérez Galvez. Present teacher. Okay, lady, at the end, okay? Uh, guys, thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Uh, before we leave, antes de irnos, uh, tomorrow the 10 minutes goes with uh, Carlos. Mañana los 10 minutos con Carlos. Next is Nilton. And let me check. And Friday is Walter. Okay. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Yeah. See you tomorrow. Let's see. Let's see. Veamos, veamos, veamos. Esta chica que qué barbaridad. Lady, where did you go?
Bueno, veamos, le vamos a explicar a Lady, pero le vamos a enviar la información mejor.
It's time. Bye-bye.